assalamu alaikum friends uh, the topic of today's discussion is uh, the concept of posting keys in sap financials so let's see what is this what is this so in simple words posting keys are more detailed uh, more uh, specific classifications of debits and credits in normal accounting in accounting theory in conventional accounting we either debit account an account or credit an account but in sap financials whenever we use an account in an accounting entry we need to mention the corresponding posting key so debits and credits are actually controlled by posting key but it's not just debit and credit which is controlled by posting key but there are some other things which are also controlled by posting key like if it's a gl account there is a separate posting key if it is a subsidiary account then there is a separate posting keys for debit and credits like customers vendors fixed asset and inventory or material accounts or even if it is a vendor entry but it is a vendor payment there is a different posting key and if it is a vendor invoice there is a separate posting key so for example in accounting we have two post, uh, posting sites debit and credit and generally we have the general ledger accounts and these are the four detailed ledger accounts detail accounts which are known as the subsidiary ledgers it can be a vendor ledger, accounts payable control account, customer ledger account, receivable control account, assets, fixed assets, or materials or inventory items for which there is just one or two or three selected control accounts in the general ledger. So for example, if we are going to credit a customer account because of the credit memo or uh, reversal of a customer invoice, then we usually we use the posting key 11. But if we credit the customer account because of the payment, then we use the posting key 15. So rather than telling the system that uh, we are going to credit a customer account because of a payment, we just mention the posting key 15 so that the system automatically knows that this is a payment from a customer. So whatever account entered is actually has to be a customer account system doesn't allow entry of any other type of account in posting key 15. And system automatically credits it we don't need to mention the term credit so whenever we display any financial accounting document we usually have posting keys mentioned in the line items so this is a snapshot from uh, taken from a system uh, in which these are the different posting keys so for example posting key 11 corresponds to account type customer and debit credit it is a credit posting key and it stands for the credit memo Similarly, posting key 15, which we just saw, is actually again for customer type of account. It is again for credit and it is for incoming payment. So in both the cases, posting key 11 and posting key 15, we see that there is a customer being credited, but the type of transaction is different. So generally, posting key controls these three, uh, these three different attributes of an accounting. Posting, number one, which account type is this? Number two, whether it is a debit or credit? And number three, what is the type of transaction that is the posting key name so moving forward uh, why don't we mention posting keys in fb50 and some other transactions so if you recall entering accounting entry in fb50 uh, the system doesn't ask us any posting key it just asks us debit and credit uh, this is so because in fb50 uh, only general ledger accounts can be debited or credited FB50 doesn't allow use of customer accounts or vendor accounts or any other type of accounts like inventory material accounts or fixed asset accounts. It means that for FB50 at least there are only two possible options either since it is a general ledger account and for general ledger there is no further details classification there are only two posting keys possible for general ledgers which is a debit or credit that's why the system only asks us that whether it is, whether it is a debit entry or a credit entry. So the debit entry in the general ledger corresponds to 40, 40, and the credit entry corresponds to 50, which is 50. Can we create more posting keys? Yes, we can create our own posting keys, but remember posting keys are cross client. They are client level, uh, not cross client, but they are client level means they are not specific for any company code. They are created at the client level and then valid for all the company codes. What is the benefit of having posting keys? So some of the benefits of having posting keys is to reduce the amount of error in entries because if we mention the posting key, for example, 40, 
the system will only allow debit of a general ledger account and nothing else. If we take the posting key, for example, 15, system will only allow the credit of customer account and nothing else. So if by mistake, some other type of account is entered, the system auto automatically pops up with an error message. Number two, posting keys can be used for reporting purposes as well, since transaction type, account types, and debits and credits all are tagged in posting keys, so they can be used for reporting purposes. So now we shall see uh, uh, in the system that how these posting keys can be seen and uh, configured. So I have called uh, an accounting document with T code FB03, and you can see this T code. This is the document number. You can see this document, and this is the T code FB03 and these are the, all the other header details and in the line items you can see that rent expense is uh, appearing with a posting key 40 and alternate bank account is appearing uh, with a posting key 50 and since it corresponds to credit so there's a minus sign with the amount as well so if we just use a search uh, over here for the posting keys we can see that posting key table that I saw, uh, show you in the uh, PowerPoint as well, that these are the different posting keys. And in our client, the client that I am using right now, there are 69 posting keys defined and they can be arranged in the order of uh, uh, any of these attributes. So for example, if I want to arrange by account type, so you see all the posting keys starting from one onwards are initially for the customers. So C stands for the customer. So up to here, these are the customer posting keys. Then there are vendor posting keys. Then for the general ledger posting, only there are two, which is uh, 40 and 50. That's why we don't need to mention these posting keys while debiting or creating a general ledger account. We just mentioned debit or credit because the system doesn't have any more entries. For asset, again, there are only two, 70 and 75, debit asset and credit asset. But for materials, uh, uh, these are again for the general ledger. Uh, so these are again for the general ledger. These have been configured for general ledger. Some uh, special and M is for material and C again is for customers. So some of them are delivered by SAP inherently and some are actually created by different users. We can create our own posting keys. For example, you see this one. This has been created by some of the students. And uh, let's... Uh, call another T code, which is, uh, let me take you to a T code from where we actually configure posting key, OB41. So OB41 is the maintaining account configuration posting key. We may, we may create, change, or edit posting keys from this T code. This T code is a configuration T code, meaning that normally end users or power users uh, cannot access this uh, particular T code. Uh, uh, so this is usually uh, the people who implement SAP uh, create posting keys if they are needed and you see again these are the posting keys these are the posting key names these are either the debits or credits and these are the account types so we shall see in the account receivable module and accounts payable module and in fixed module and maybe in MM if you do that the posting keys used by the transactions are different. But if it is a general ledger, then the posting keys are 1450. So that was about posting key. Just to have a recall, posting key is nothing else but a more detailed classification of debits and credits. So let me refer the slide to you. These are more detailed classification of debits and credits because when we mention posting key, the system doesn't only uh, uh, fixes or doesn't only traces debits and credits, but, but it also fixes the account type, whether it's a GL account, customer account, vendor account, and it also fixes the transaction type. So that was all about posting. Thank you very much.